Welcome back to Excel 2016, Module 4. This is Part 4, where we're going to create a stacked column chart and then format it. So we're going to go back into our workbook for Backspace. And we are now going to go back to our projected cash flow where the data is that we need to use to create this stacked column. Now we will be again using data for this chart that does require the loan repayment amount to be entered. So make sure you have placed $20,000 in every year for the loan repayment amount otherwise your chart will look different than mine. So the first thing we have to do is select the data for our chart. So what we want to do first is select the non-adjacent ranges of A4 through K4. Then hold the control key down and choose A16 through K20. Now that we have that selected, you release the control key and the shift, or excuse me, the control key and the mouse, and we're going to go to our insert tab. In the chart group, we're going to locate the group that says insert a column or bar chart and hit the drop down arrow next to it. Now you will see several charting options. We are going to choose in the 2D column the stacked column. So you want to hover over it and find the one that says stacked column and click that. We want to change this to a chart style of style 11. So click the style button, go all the way down and hover over them until you find 11, which is the bottom one. And that's the one you will choose. And then we're going to move this to another worksheet. Remember, that if we're moving to a separate worksheet, you must use the Move Chart button. We are not going to be creating a new chart sheet. We want to move this as an object in the Financial Summary worksheet. This is where we just put our projected revenues and expense chart as well. So now we're going to move this and resize it. So what we want to happen is we want this to begin in E22 and end in L38. So you want to get the cross with the arrows. Whoops. Make sure you're not clicking on a different chart element but a blank area to move the whole chart area and we're going to move it down to start in a E22. Once you get it in E22 then you're going to resize it so that it ends in L38. Remembering that these corner dots and the dots that are in the sides of your chart area are called resizing handles and they will allow you to alter the size. Now that we have it resized, we're going to go ahead and change our title. So again, in order to do that, you click on the title and then you just type in the new one. You will not see the title 
appearing in the chart as you're typing. However, it is in the formula bar. So if you look up at the formula bar, you will see it there. And we're going to type in breakdown of business expenses. When you hit enter, it will be displayed as the chart title in the chart area. And again, if you want to change the font or color or size, you do that with the title selected on the Home tab. So we're going to change it to Calibri Light. And then we're going to change it to a font color of green, accent 6, darker 25%. You can see that when Excel created this worksheet for or this chart for us, it did create a legend to tell us what each of the different colors mean. All right, so now we're going to be changing the chart area color. So we're going to click on the chart area. And again, I always like to go over to my format tab to ensure that I'm editing the correct thing. I can go to the shape fill color and choose the green lighter 60% and then I'm going to click on the plot area. You could also highlight this drop down and choose plot area from there and I'm going to make that plot area white. I'm also going to work with the grid lines. So here under grid lines, I am going to add the primary major vertical grid lines as well. And that concludes working with our stacked column chart. In the next video, we will be working with a line chart.